Hey, check it out. I got my microphone plugged up today. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. Eyes flitting all over the place here to kind of make sure everything's working. Man, I had <coughs> a frustrating evening yesterday. Hang on. And maybe I guess I should have taken it as a sign that yesterday I didn't even remember to plug my microphone up for you guys. But, uh, wow. No internet last night. Couldn't get anybody from the cable company to answer me. It was a bit of an ordeal. But it's back now. It's working now. And we are here. So, hey, do me a favor. Whether you are watching live or watching on the replay, leave a comment down there like Keith and Mark did. Yes, yeah, Slick. Uh, we'll get to that in about an hour. So, uh, like Keith and Mark did, thanks to both of you guys for being here this morning. Leaving that comment lets me know that you're here, that you're interested, and it encourages me. And it sets you up to uh, take advantage of Facebook, so that Facebook will let you know as that conversation continues down in the comments. Hey, Brooke, good morning to you as well. Today we're going to continue. So, uh, kind of continue a theme from yesterday, but we were talking yesterday about this sign, and I should have taken it down so I could show it to you. But uh, the sign I have up on the wall over here says, Stop letting life happen to you and start creating the life you crave. Just one of many reminders I have hanging on the wall. Most of them are right over here, like up above my whiteboard. Some of them you can see back here in the background. Those are kind of project descriptions, but uh, at any rate. So I want to continue this thought about being intentional it is really where I want to go. And I t entitled today's uh, episode, The Best Way to Start Your Day. It's something that um, that I've been doing. Gosh, I don't even know how long I've been doing it years. Um, and I've shown you my composition books before, but uh, this is going to be my suggestion for you today, is to start every day, or at least early uh, in the day, with doing some journaling. Here's kind of some of the stuff that I wrote from this morning. Sometimes it gets like really, uh, really crazy. Like I'll do stuff like that, and oh, here's a good one. I have a whole value chain drawn out in there. The point is not that you subscribe to any particular format, although I can suggest one to help you get started. The point is that when you do this, you are starting your day with intention. I say all the time, you know, begin with an attitude of gratitude. The first line today is my oldest daughter's birthday, and I said, today's her birthday. I'm grateful that she's in my life. That was my my uh, attitude of gratitude this morning. Then I wrote about a little bit that happened yesterday and then what I intend to do today. Today I intend to. And then started outlining some of the stuff that needs to happen. Yes, it comes from the whiteboard back here. And yes, I have a format down at the bottom for the projects. I have my one priority and the things I need to focus on and then the people I need to talk to. All of that information is there. But for me, I'm a tactile learner, so writing it makes a big difference for me. But here's the other thing. Now, for a long time, I did this on my iPad with a pen, with a stylus. I wrote it. I tried typing it for a little bit, but here's what I figured out. Writing it, number one, writing it down in the book makes it easier for me to go back and read it. But, but more importantly than that, it slows me down. Here's why that's important. Our brain can think a lot faster than we can speak or we can write. Have you ever been writing a, a speech or a presentation or something and you thought about everything you needed to say and then when you started actually trying to verbalize the words, you were stumbling over them, couldn't get them out fast enough, or you ran out of time to make your presentation? That's because we think a lot faster than we talk. Writing it down forces you to slow down. Now, for some of you, I can hear already, y'all get distracted if I do that. Yeah, I know, that's the point, right? Being able to stay focused on what you intend to do with your day, even if it's just for 10 minutes, 
is super important. One of the things that I do each morning, I, I use a guided meditation app called Headspace. But the thing that's important about that is not that you don't want to be distracted. It's that you are going to be distracted and I can bring my attention back to what I'm doing. Right. So take a few minutes this morning and try it. Right. Or if you're already into your morning routine and, and you don't have enough time to do that, dedicate some time to it at lunch today. Shut the door, close the door, go outside, sit in the car, whatever you have to do to have a little quiet time, and take a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be a composition book. They are handy, though, because now as I point that out, here are two that I've already filled up. Um, take a piece of paper, write down what you're grateful for, and what you intend to do today. And just the process of thinking about that and being intentional about it gets you out of the position of the day happening to you and puts you into the position of controlling your outcomes. All right? And when you are in control of your outcomes, great things can happen. When somebody else is in control of your outcomes, you got no control. You're just there along for the ride. All right? So, grab a piece of paper. Take a few minutes of quiet time. Now, I, I, here's the question I get all the time. When do I have time to do that? Well, that's why I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Right? That time between 5 and when we start about 7 o'clock every morning, nice, quiet, not disturbed. I can sit here and... I can do my meditation, I can do my journaling, I can plan the day, and then I can go out and execute the plan. I'm, uh, by the way, I'm listening to a book right now, and I'll put a link for it in the notes. It's an excellent, uh, an excellent book. Uh, it's called Unshakable by Tony Robbins. talks about managing your money. But one of the things that uh, he talks about is in a conversation with Paul Tudor Jones, one of the greatest... Uh, or its most successful investors um, that's currently alive. One of the things that, that uh, Paul Tudor Jones does is he creates his plan for trading that day and then executes it and then doesn't watch the market during the day. He just lets the plan work. Right? So the same is true for you. If you will, I'm telling you, if you will write it down, then the plan will find a way to execute itself throughout the day. And then you get this whole reticular activation kicked off in your brain and great things happen. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for being here. <clears throat> it's Tuesday, so the radio show is coming up at 8 o'clock in a little less than an hour. Fantastic guest on the show with me this morning, Tony Eberhardt from, uh, used to be New Leaf Digital, now it's Urban Engine. We'll find out all about that name change and location change, and all the stuff that's going on with them this morning. Don't want to miss that. You can find me online. Uh, there's a Facebook Live for that at talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. Be sure and dial that up. Catch that conversation. I'll be back here again tomorrow, and we will have another few minutes together right here on 7 Minutes in the Morning. You have a terrific Tuesday. I'll talk to you then.